Hello, in this short DCS VR video, I will cover the following topics. What is Open Kneeboard? How I use Open Kneeboard in DCS VR? And how I create PDFs that contain content I can view in VR. Make sure you check the comments. If I miss anything in this video, I'll make sure to put it there in the comments. So hopefully by the time anyone watches this video, I'll have it all together, right? And it's gonna be in the comment. For those of you that are not familiar with Open Kneeboard, it's a popular tool amongst VR users. Unlike the base Kneeboard feature included in DCS, Open Kneeboard is interactable, meaning we can write notes and click on a document to go to different sections. You can import Chuck's PDF documents right into it. However, the scale isn't quite right. As far as I can tell, that's because the PDF documents are horizontal rather than vertical, meaning it's not portrait. Instead, it's landscape, which isn't good for open kneeboard. I'll go more into detail about that in section three. Now, one really neat thing about VR kneeboards like this is that you can use drawing tablets to interact with it. And what I mean is an actual drawing tablet that you might see artists use. I just happen to have one of these tablets since I was playing around mess messing with that in like Photoshop or something. I never did. So this tool gave me a reason to finally open up that box. As you might be able to tell in this video footage, I'm actually using my digital pen to move around that little pointer around the document. Now let's talk about how I use it. Basically, I use it as a reference in the sim. I used to try to memorize everything, but the problem I kept running to, as you may guess, is I would often forget about things. I might go on vacation, come back, and you know, I would forget certain steps. It could also be anything like how my controls are mapped on my HOTAS and how to perform a certain procedure. Nowadays, instead of trying to memorize a bunch of procedures, I just don't even bother. I just use this tool. In this document, I make sure to capture my button mappings and common procedures I go through with the module I own. It even comes in handy when you join a multiplayer server and they give you coordinates in a text message, such as Hoggit training server. Now you can just write them down in your notes in the sim. Previously, I just didn't have a good way to get around this in VR. In the image, you can see that I have a few functions bound to my throttle, such as switching pages, tabs, and recentering in VR. This all makes sense, right? Most of the time when you watch a real life video, if you're probably doing a startup procedure, for instance, they have the knee board out. So there's no shame in this. You can even check things off in real time, just like you see a pilot do in videos. Here's the big one. Now we will discuss how I make my PDF documents. I personally use Google Slides. It's free and very easy to use. The first thing I do is click on File, Page Setup, and then I select Portrait. This allows us to see the document better in VR. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, Chuck's PDFs use horizontal, aka landscape orientation, which makes it difficult to see in VR. If I discover an automated tool that converts the PDFs, I'll make sure to link in the pin comment. But what I've done in the past is copy them over into my own slide and this gives me the flexibility where I could just replace some of the images with actual pics from my HOTAS because not everything in the real life plane like maps to at least maybe the arrangement I have. So it just makes sense for me to just have photos of my own HOTAS instead of the real life stick or whatever that you see in Chuck's PDF. Also, this way I'm making it pretty dummy proof. As you can imagine though, this could be pretty time consuming. So once again, stay posted 
or at least check the pinned comment. Maybe by the time you watch this video, I might have a solution, automate a solution. But regardless, I think it might be kind of hard to automate because it's easy to, to reorient the text, but it's images that's the problem. And I've seen other people actually ask Chuck, can he make it vertical? But I've just been doing it myself. Final tip here. You can set up a table of contents very easily. What I do on my first slide, I'll select the text that I want to turn into a hyperlink. The hyperlink in this instance, it will simply link to a different slide. And when we generate that PDF, that hyperlink is retained, which is very neat because now that means inside of DCS, we can just use our digital pen and we just click on that little hyperlink and it takes us directly to the slide that we want. All right, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful to someone. If so, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Fly safe.